This morning we are getting ready to head into the city of Chester. <laughs> well, that's that's the goal anyway. The goal, yeah. we'll <laughs> so see it's how about we go. it's about ten or eleven miles from here. From here, and still got about eight locks. Eight locks, yeah. To to where we kind of want to. To where up. we want to to moor up. So we've never been into Chester, so we don't actually know the situation with mooring. So yeah. it could be further. <laughs> it could be further, or we might have to turn around and come back a little bit to a nice moory spot, but. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how we go. Uh, but we've got, yeah, some locks to do. And at one of the locks, we should see a castle. Hopefully. Well, the ruins of a castle, Your anyway. ruins of a castle, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's get cruising. Let's get cruising. <laughs> Our second lock of the day was quite unusual in that it was constructed out of cast iron rather than the traditional stone. We just stopped and had a brief chat with Pat and Eileen from Our Narrow Boat Quest. We seem to run into them quite a lot. Yeah. <laughs> right. well, every year, at least at I least think, once yeah. a year. We saw them last year on the, the Yeah, Colden. last year on the Colden Canal and The year before at Pencridge. At Pencridge. It? it was the year before or the year before that. Before but that. anyway, we, we see them quite often. Yeah. Uh, so we just had a little chat with them and we didn't realise they were on this canal. No. But uh, we're off again now and continuing our trek into Chester. Yep. It's become very overcast. Yeah, it has. It even was spitting a little bit on us. Yeah. <laughs> Another <laughs> vlogger you might know. Hello! Hi! Are you mooring up? No, we're going to keep going. Do you want to have a chat though? Yeah! Yeah, we'll more up and have a chat. Okay then! Alright! How are you doing? Back up. <laughs> See you again guys! See, See you again! Pixel. <laughs> this place is just filled with narrowboat vloggers! Well, it's like an uno unofficial narrowboat vlogger um, Get convention together. here! Yeah. Uh, it's nice to catch up with them all. That's the first time we've met Gary Captain Phillips. So yeah. It was good to see him. Face to face. Face to face, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mum and Dad used to have a boat in there. That's where Mum and Dad bought their boat from. Yeah. <laughs> and it was moored there for a little while, it's not anymore. <laughs> yeah, we had to visit quite a few times to have a look at the boat for them on their behalf while they were trying to buy it. While they were buying it, yeah. yeah it was a good excuse to stop at the ice cream farm across the road. <laughs> we might have to stop there on the way back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. For, for the vlog, for the vlog. For the vlog, yeah. For the vlog. <laughs> Miles of 
like residential more in here. <gasps> so it? many boats. I feel like this has been going forever. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect countryside shot. <laughs> and we're still going e past all these boats. You can't even see the road and then there's a car. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're still going past all these boats. It's almost like the never ending moorings. I can see the end. <laughs> Right. Second outro of the day. Yeah. <laughs> we tried to stop a little bit earlier, um, but after we'd stopped and put everything away, we realized that although we had decent um, signal, signal, because we tend to look for places with two bars 4G, 4G or internet. higher. Yeah. Um, but this place had two bars 4G, but we weren't even getting close to one megabit Megabyte. per second speeds. Yes. And uh, last night we moored up in a place that had no internet at all. So you know one once every now and then having no internet is is fine hmm, but However, we work we rely on the internet for work yes we do need the internet for work so we decided well we'll move on a little bit further see if we can find somewhere with slightly better internet no, it, it's got much better internet this here. is much better internet it's been rather a long day yeah lots of people met yeah. <laughs> and yeah we're ready to to call it a day yeah with good internet <laughs> we checked this time yes. <laughs> we ran an internet speed test <laughs> we were most of the time moving from that place we were moored up to here we're like all right check now check speed. Uh, no <laughs> check now uh no yes you had enough for today as well people? she's had enough for the week This morning we are making our way the last little bit down down five locks? Yeah, down yeah. the five locks. Down uh, five locks into Chester. We were quite lucky that there's another boat heading the same way just as we set off. Or we thought it was lucky until we realised we're gonna stop for water just before the locks. Yeah. And I don't think that they are. Or even if they are. Usually there's only one water point yeah. and you can only put one one hose on it at a time so maybe they'll wait for us who knows <laughs> but if not lucky if they yeah. do. But I'm looking forward to getting into Chester
There were quite a few boats ahead of us um, coming through these locks. So even though we set off just behind another boat thinking that we'd probably go through the locks together, uh, it didn't actually work out that way. So we ended up having to go through that lock by ourselves, uh, even though we tried to wait and see if anybody was coming, but we were on a water point for about half an hour and nobody was coming the same way as us. And the lock took ages to fill, so we were still waiting, but as is always the way, as soon as we were done and coming out of the lock, there was a boat behind us coming down the lock, or waiting to come down the lock, because obviously we'd just come through it. So we're gonna wait for them up for this next lock. With that last lock out of the way, we were now in the heart of Chester. We spent a few days exploring this beautiful city and its ancient walls. I don't know how this new camera works properly. <laughs> <laughs> but we are walking along the old wall, yeah, city wall. The city wall of Chester. It's really cool. Yeah. All old stone and you can walk a long way along it. So we're just going to walk back towards the boat on here rather than along the canal. Yeah. Although it does pretty much follow the canal, so you know, it's that. <laughs>
really pretty clock. Very bright and vibrant. Very, very golden red. <laughs> I always sometimes find it a little bit unsettling when you look at a building and then you notice the faces looking back at you. <laughs> what faces? Like on this Tudor building here, there's like angels and that holding up the oh. lintels and stuff. And because they're painted like the rest of the black stuff, it, you don't notice them at first. section of the wall that's being repaired because it fell down due to uh, water running between some of the stonework and it was two old repairs um, had failed but it's nice to know they're still kind of maintaining this old this history yeah, yeah. The, the Chester wall it's, it's really cool I realise that place is called Off the Wall because it's built off the Chester Wall. <laughs> <laughs> Roman pillars and stuff, Mickey. Look. Look, Mickey, Roman stuff. Roman stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like a child. Roman stuff. <laughs> We are in Chester, uh, we've actually been here for a couple of days now, just enjoying walking around the city and walking on the wall, walking the city walls. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed this video, if you have don't forget to give it a like. And if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye!